In this movie, we're going to have a look at how you can use turbulent noise effect to create all sorts of different effects on your footage to replicate a kind of old film dust and scratches effect for your footage. We're in Creative Effects AEP, which you can find in 05 Creative Effects folder, which is in the Project Files folder. And if you go into the project panel, into nested comps, you'll find a comp called Old Film. Double click that to open it, and you should see my layers here that all have the turbulent noise effect applied. Now this is on the default setting for each of these. So what we're going to do is work on these one by one to get the effect of the dust and scratches and all the different layers of distortion being applied to the footage. So we're going to start with the noise layer, so click on the solo button here so that we only see the noise layer, and then double click turbulent noise to open it up in the effect control panel. What I want to do first of all is just create a basic noise. So I'm going to use the max setting and I'm going to up the contrast to get a really nice high contrast for this. So something like that will do about 400 or thereabouts. Now you can choose linear or block for this, up to you, but I'm going to keep linear I think for this and we might choose soft linear. So choose soft linear. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is come down to my transform section and just adjust the scale all the way down. And you'll see that as soon as I do that, I start to get noise. OK, so if I bring that down to one, I get this kind of random noise. Now, you'll notice if I play that, that it's actually animating. And that's because I took an extra step of adding some animation for the evolution setting so that you didn't have to. So basically. I've animated the evolution from the beginning to the end, and if we preview that, you'll see I get the noise changing over time as a result, this kind of flickering noise. And if you select the noise layer and hit U on the keyboard, you can see those keyframes. You'll see that I've animated it by 50 revolutions to get really fast, rapidly changing noise there. So we have our noise. What we're going to do now is create some scratch lines on top. So click on the solo button for the scratched lines layer, and that will composite the new layer of noise on top. Now, first thing I'm going to do is set it up. Again, I'm going to make sure that I have the correct one selected. You'll notice I've still got the noise layer effect selected. So you do want to be careful here that you don't accidentally select the wrong turbulent noise. If you're worried about that, you can always rename these. You can hit return and just call that noisy noise. OK, and that makes it a little bit more obvious what that's doing. And if we double click this one, it will open up this one and we can call it scratch lines. And that way, by renaming the effect, it makes it more easy to differentiate it between the other copies of the effect. So for this one, again, we're going to choose max and we're going to increase the contrast again. But this time, what I'm going to do is go into my scale and I'm going to say non-uniform scaling. So at the moment it's uniform scaling, so we remove that. And now I can scale the height independently from the width. And what you want to do is hold down the shift key so that you can extend that as far as you can. So you get these nice lines here. Now if I invert that, I get the opposite and I can just keep adjusting until I just get a few random lines. Now I also want to scale the width, bring the width down so that I get really thin lines and we'll also adjust the contrast a little bit more and bring the brightness down just so that we don't have quite as many of those lines. And if I preview that, you'll see we now get the odd white line moving across footage. Now you may want white lines, you may want dark lines. If you invert it, you will get the opposite. So decide whether you want light or dark. I'm going to go with dark. Now at the moment, this is just composited on top, but we can change the blending modes. We can try out different blending modes. So if I choose add blending mode, it's going to add those white lines to the background footage. And if we preview that, you'll see we get the effect of the dust and scratches, or the scratch lines rather, compositing on top of the noise. So once you've done that, you would continue doing these other layers here. 
And if I open up noisy footage effect, you'll see that I've already done that here. If we select these layers here and open up the effects, you'll see I have turbulent noise on here with some keyframes. If we double click, I have the strings fractal type soft linear effect. If we solo that, you can see I've also animated that to create the effect of kind of the odd line and the odd patch of dust. So a dust and hairs effect. I've composited that with difference mode and that gives us the odd line and hair kind of effect on top of the footage. And then I've created some patches of shadow using the terrain effect. You can have a look through the settings here and animating that to create some dark shadows. And then finally on top, we create a vignette. So that's how you can create the noisy footage effect from a combination of different layers and different effects in After Effects combined together.